Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Look what I got today. We've seen these before. This is a 2022 Royal Enfield Himalayan. My favorite of motorcycles. I've got one myself, mine's a 21. This one has about 100 miles on it. And it's got these beautiful bags. These beautiful Royal Enfield hard boxes. Aren't those neat? Look how large they are. Anyway, so the Royal Enfield Himalaya, it's got the uh, 411 cc single cylinder, two valve, one intake, one exhaust. It's fuel injected. Motor produces about uh, 24, 25 horsepower, but just about as much torque, 23, 24 foot pounds of torque. Uh, low revving, very well mannered. I just love the heck out of mine. I've got about 8,000 8, miles on mine. So uh, it's just an easy, fun bike to ride easy to maintain I do my own valve adjustments and such but uh, anyway the uh, thing has a five-speed transmission look at that shifter it looks short but the pivot point is actually ahead of the foot pick so it's actually plenty it's an air and oil cooled engine there's the oil cooler this one has a guard over it got that beautiful pipe that's one of the endearing features, I think. Now this one is in this, I think this is called pine green, but it's absolutely lovely. And uh, uh, these on video or in picture, they never look right. You gotta see one of these in real life. So get yourself down to Baxter Cycle and check one out. Just gorgeous. The 2022s have these different racks on the front. It's a heavier tube, slightly different angles so that you have more leg room here. I've never had trouble with leg room on mine, but uh, I guess taller riders do. They've got a different Royal Enfield sign here. And a lot of guys will take this and paint them on the inside, the letters red or whatever color. Just gorgeous. Other differences are, uh, it's got the nav system, the sat nav. This hooks to your phone. It's a Google based item built by Google and uh, gives you turn by turn directions. Um, while we're at the dash, gear indicator, trip A, trip B, odometer, clock, temperature gauge, tachometer up here, analog speedometer. It's got a uh, battery light, which I think every motorcycle should have, a compass, of course, and a fuel gauge, a real fuel gauge. It also has left and right turn signal lights, which is very nice. Uh, back to the, uh, let's go back down to suspension. Almost eight inches, I think it's 7.9 of suspension on the front, and about seven inches on the rear disc brakes I think they're 320 on the front it's got a dual dual pot floating caliper fixed disc ABS and on the rear I believe it's a 240 millimeter with a single pot these are by Bri brakes by Bri by Brembo it's the uh, less expensive brand the bike itself has about eight 0.6 inches of ground clearance. Look at that nice skid plate. And uh, before I get any, more, get any farther, uh, it's got this beautiful 21 inch wheel. If you've never had a dirt bike or a bike with a 21 inch wheel, it's just great. It goes over everything, ruts, bumps. I go through over washboard with mine. I've, I've done several thousand miles of gravel on my bike and that's one of the more endearing features I think of this motorcycle besides you know the engine and the suspension is this beautiful the way this front tire works. Um, while we're talking about that, the brakes on these bikes are great for off-road, great for dirt road, great for gravel road. Um, on pavement, they're not really set up for pavement, but they work very well for pavement. They don't work as well as they do in the dirt. Uh, it's got these neat foot pegs with this removable rubber, nice rugged levers. Really well done. Uh, these Seat tires, these are an Indian company. Um, I still have the front tire on mine at 8,000 miles. I think I wore my back one out at uh, 4,400. I got a big staple in it and the tire was going anyway, so I replaced it. But uh, gorgeous thing, gorgeous thing. Just a real lovely looking motorcycle. So back to these bags. And I've really gone back and forth on what I should do about bags, but these are, if you need a lot of room, look at these in black. They make them in silver also, but you know, aren't those just gorgeous? And they've got tie downs on the top. They lock, they're easy to open. I think they're waterproof. We've got a seal on them anyway. 
you can pop them off, you un un loosen this, undo this, these flip forward and the bag comes off. Pretty easy, very solid. I like it. Um, well, another difference of the 22 is the different rack on the back. It's a heavier rack, has a higher load capacity. The 22 also had a more comfortable seat, supposedly. I, I find my seat very comfortable on mine, but uh, beautiful bike. Center stand included, that's not an extra. Isn't that just gorgeous? Uh, another thing, when they put these bags on, you have to have the, uh, they move the uh, blinkers, turn signals from back here, back to here. And so this one's all done already, of course. Chain drive, monoshock. Y'all can see that in there. Well, you can't, but, and it's adjustable. It's got adjustable preload pre on there. The front shocks are not adjustable, but they do come with these boots, which are very nice, especially on a dirt bike. I like it. Oh, and by the way, the rear suspension, it's a monoshock that's it's linked, and you can replace these links to make the bike taller or shorter. So it is progressive. Uh, very nicely done. So I, I have one of these, 8,000 miles on it. I've probably driven four or 5,000 miles of gravel. It's my favorite motorcycle that I've owned in many years. I just love the heck out of it. They're friendly, easy going. They'll do anything but go fast. They top out. I think top speed is about 80, 85, but I never go over 70 on mine. And uh, a cruise, 60, 65 is the most I'd ever cruise on it. Cruising more than 10 miles, you know. If you need to get on the interstate for five or 10 miles, that's fine. You can go 75, I suppose, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. But uh, great motorcycle, great motorcycle. Get yourself down to Baxter Cycle. Look, yourself, look at one, ask them about this particular one and uh, see what they can do for y'all. Life's too short, get out there and ride. Wahoo!